in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen dear friends good morning hope you're all doing well dear friends god loves us so much that uh, he took great pains t- to reveal to us his son jesus christ he wanted us to know for sure that jesus is his son the son of god and he wants us to believe in him and attach ourselves to him so that we can have fullness of life here on earth and eternal life in the world to come and so he spoke to us he spoke his voice was heard and he also sent the holy spirit to hover and descend upon his son and thereby bear another witness to the fact that jesus is the son of god and thereby to bring us to believe in him god gave this clear indication clear sign God keeps giving other signs also maybe not as clear as this uh, because the gravity of this uh, belief in Jesus is very high and so he himself took the pains to speak but he keeps giving other signs for other uh, events as appropriate and one such sign is the immaculate heart of mary today is the first saturday of the month and we uh, remember the immaculate heart of mary the immaculate heart and the sacred heart of jesus they are also signs of god's love for us and also of how humanity has wounded god by their sins signs other signs also god keeps working today we are remembering a saint called saint peter of canterbury um he actually was uh, a monk a benedictine monk in rome in the 6th century at that time saint gregory the great saint august sent saint augustine along with the uh, 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 other monks to england to evangelize england and one such monk was saint peter he went along with saint augustine and then when he uh, was there in england in canterbury they started a benedictine abbey actually an augustinian abbey uh, and he was the first abbot of that abbey it so happened that uh, he had to go to rome for some purpose to meet the pope saint gregory and at that time on the way uh, either way back or way in he uh, d- uh, drowned in the sea and died when his body was recovered uh, the people just unceremoniously buried him Uh, without much uh, honor and uh, uh, without much uh, respect and so on uh, but it uh, happened that uh, every night there was a sign there was light emanating from the way the, from the place where he was buried god works these signs also and thereby these people realized that this man whom they buried almost unceremoniously was a holy man and so they uh, they took the dug the body out and once again with prayerfulness they buried him uh, in a different place that's how god gives all signs uh, in so many ways all through the day even on a day to day basis in our lives also we are invited to listen to these signs live according to that and thereby make our life holy and be a reparation to the wounds of the immaculate heart and the sacred heart heavenly father help us to be watchful to the signs that you keep giving us and thereby make our lives conforming to your will help us also to heed your voice and pay attention to your son attach ourselves to your son jesus and thereby have eternal life we make this prayer to the same son jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen Thank you.